damn it. Somewhere between a jacket and a hoodie lies the chunky, rugged cardigan sweater. And this is something that I would absolutely argue belongs in your wardrobe, should be a staple of almost any guy's wardrobe, unless you live in like a really warm climate. First of all, it's way more versatile than a hoodie. Okay, you could put one of these things on over a t-shirt and take a nap on the couch, or you could put one on over a shirt and tie and go to the office. But just a fair word of caution, if your wife or your girlfriend has already commandeered all of your hooded sweatshirts, wait till she gets a hold of this cozy warm sweater. So this is the first of a series I wanna call Good, Better, Best for lack of any better title. And the idea here is to give you three different options at different price points, to get into something like a staple like this, okay? So you can have something that's really decent, better than that, and absolutely grail worthy. I'm gonna give you all three of those and maybe even a couple other options as well. The idea for this video was actually suggested by a viewer. Now, I can't remember who it was, it was a long time ago, but when they did make that comment, I remember thinking, man, that's a great idea. Proving once again that my audience is the smartest out there, and if you really want knowledge, go and check out the comment section of almost any of my videos. There are so many bright people out there who are offering their opinion and their experience that you can actually probably learn more in the comment section than you will from me blathering on. The problem becomes, how do you know which one to buy? I mean, if you're familiar with this channel at all, then you know that we're all about treating purchases like investments, with the expectation that they'll pay us back over time and that their price per wear provides a significant return in service. The smart purchase is the $200 item you wear a thousand times versus the $50 item you only wear twice. When it comes to cardigans or sweaters of any kind, there are a few things that I believe to be true. Wool is better than cotton, buttons are better than zippers, and elbow patches are essential. Now, of course, you may disagree. Maybe you can't wear wool, or you prefer a zipper. But just hear me out. Wool is warmer than cotton, being able to bend over 20,000 times before breaking compared to 3,000 bends for cotton fibers. It's fire-resistant and antimicrobial. Buttons can be easily replaced at home with minimal equipment or know-how, and the elbows are typically the first place that will show wear and prematurely end the usefulness of your investment. Even given these parameters, you still have a lot of options. L.L. Bean, Orvis, Buck Mason, J. Crew, basically every menswear company has some version of a button-down chunky cardigan. Now, if money is tight or you're just not quite sure if this is the look for you, a good option is the $30 regular fit collared cardigan from the Target brand Goodfellow & Co. At that price, it's obviously not going to be wool and you're gonna have to make some compromises but at 100% cotton and decently cut in a pretty tidy and good looking package, this might be the perfect gateway into this style. Or perhaps you live in a warmer climate where wool would simply be too much. You'd be hard pressed to find a better deal than this. This is a lightweight fabric compared to the others, and it wears more like a thin sweatshirt than what most would consider a sweater. The fit is somewhat boxy, so I'd suggest sizing down if you want a more tailored look. A decent alternative is the Amazon brand Good Threads with their men's soft cotton shawl cardigan. A significant step up is the LL Bean Classic Rag Wool Cardigan. Here we have 100% lamb's wool in a mid-weight knit. At $99, it's a bargain. What makes the LL Bean so great is its thick and soft material. This feels more like wearing a blanket than anything else, and it's the perfect sweater to throw on if you live in a drafty old house like me, or layering beneath a coat if you live in a colder climate. The weave of the fabric is pretty loose, so this isn't one that you're gonna wanna beat on too much since an open weave is prone to snagging. I really like the blue-green marled look of this cardigan, and it offers some visual interest over the other solid colors. The vertical hand pockets are decent, and they work just fine for holding your phone or warming up your hands. The nice thing about this lamb's wool is that it's not scratchy at all. It's very soft and cozy right out of the box. The fit is generous and the sleeves are longer than usual. This makes for a much more casual look and one that may be harder to dress up than others. Another option is the Spear & McKay Chunky Cardigan at $198. This has gotten a lot of praise and people speak very highly of them. The Dehen 1920 Shawl Sweater Coat 2.0. Now, if you're looking for the best cardigan money can buy, I don't think it gets any better than this. 
Made in the USA with more than three pounds of four-end, 100% worsted wool, waxed cotton elbow patches, corzo buttons, fold-back cuffs. I mean, you're really looking for a ruby castle if you need more than this. As the name suggests, this is a slight variation on the original Dehen shawl sweater coat, but for the same price. So you actually get a few upgrades, like the patch pockets, which are actually usable, elbow patches, and accent buttonholes for just a little bit more style. Now, if you want the old version, you can get that as well. It doesn't have any of these different features, but if you want something that's a little more toned down, but built the same way, then maybe the original is better for you. Next to the other two, this cardigan feels like a monster. It's heavy, warm, and clearly made to last a lifetime. Everything from the density and the heft to the feel of the buttons is far beyond anything I've ever felt. It's hard to imagine a situation where something like this would ever wear out. Now the surface texture is tighter than the other two since it's not brushed, and this gives it sort of an overall more dressed up appearance. With time and use, it's safe to assume that this will wear in to become softer, cozier, and honestly even better. Of course, the best of the best doesn't come cheap, and at $395, this is likely a once-in-a-lifetime purchase. Luckily, there's a first-time purchase discount of 15%, which is substantial, considering that nothing over at Dehen is cheap. The fit is a bit more tailored, too, making this an even more enticing sweater. Also in this category is a brand called Billy Todd Co. out of Scotland with their James Shawl cardigan. It's made from two and a half ounces of 100% lamb's wool, has Italian horn buttons, and this one comes in at $495. Now, although there is a world of difference between the Goodfellow & Co. and the Dehen 1920 version of these, I think the sweet spot is somewhere in the middle. That L.L. Bean is really hard to beat. For just under a hundred bucks, you have something that, it might not be a lifetime garment like the Dehen, okay? But it's also not of the price. So for a lot of people, they would rather buy one, wear through it, buy another, and then even buy another and still come out ahead as far as budget's concerned. I think that's where the smart money is at. I mean, there's no doubt about it that, you know, the Dehen is a beautiful piece and it looks incredible and it's, it's made unlike almost anything I've ever seen. Is it worth the price of entry? It's a question only you can answer. And if you'd like to see a video where I actually toured a woolen mill called American Woolen, go ahead and click right here. It's a pretty fun video. Not a lot of views on it, oddly enough. I hoped that there would be more, but there weren't. So go and check it out. Thank you so much for watching. I really appreciate it and I'll catch you later. Somewhere between a jacket and a hoodie lies the chunky cardigan. <coughs> what the hell was that? Somewhere between a jacket and a hoodie lies the chunk 